Ah, take this joint off. Woo. All right, y'all. So I just paid uh, for the truck. Got painted. Uh, haven't seen it yet. It wasn't parked on the side of the road like how it normally is. So I wasn't able to see it. But it's parked in the back. So I'm about to turn the corner right this second. Find it. Wherever it is. Ooh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, yeah. This joint is different. This joint is different, different. Oh, hold up. Oh, yeah. So I'm, I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you guys what it's looking like. All right, yo. So this is how the truck is looking now. I'm definitely going to be taking these things off, but I'm going to let the paint uh, cure a little bit and stuff like that before I take those off. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be taking those off. I like how I do see that they took these off actually and painted behind it. So that's good. Now these, I'm iffy because I told them to take these off so that they were black. Here, let me see something real quick. Yes, I told them to take these off so that they were the, uh, it was black, but I'm not too mad about it because with that being paint match, I can always order a new set like I plan on doing getting something different just in case I want to change the look and I can always get the because uh, they come black so instead of me ordering a new set and having to come here again to get them painted the same color those would just be painted and I can just get a black thing whatever so yeah that's cool but this don't look half bad at all this joint is tight crispy now the thing is I plan on doing some other cosmetic stuff to it now too all right, yo, so we at a spot right now so I can get a little better view of it. But, uh, yeah, honestly, I'm kind of, I'm really happy about the paint job. Cause it's like, depending on which angle you look at it, it's like a different kind of gray. Only thing that's like, yeah, it's like, I don't really know if I like the, the paint match fenders. But, like, I can always fix that problem quick. It doesn't take that long. And one thing that I'm also not the most ecstatic about is I thought they were going to be painting all the chrome that was on the uh, rear bumper and the front bumper, but they didn't. I mean, it's not too big of a deal, something that I could do myself, but I mean, it would have been nice or whatever. They would have painted it, but I mean, I kind of never specified, but yeah, so just walking around the truck now a couple plans that i have for it uh just kind of going off the top of my head is uh, i plan on getting different tail lights i don't like how these ones are like a bubble if that makes sense these look like a bubble i don't really like that and then from on top of here it's not as bad as i thought it was before i got painted because there was like a lot of indents and stuff like that and bumps and stuff so uh i plan on getting a cover basically something like that or going to the back so yeah this has a cover right here basically gonna be getting that on this and obviously on the other side too so that's one thing another thing is the third brake light you see how crusty and musty dusty that joint is yeah definitely plan on getting another one of those um tint this tint isn't the best i probably will go darker tint on the truck probably not 100 percent definitely taking this off my problem with this is since the paint is so new i know it's uh it's since it's so fresh I don't want to risk uh, taking off the symbol and ripping some of the paint off. So I'm going to let it sit for a little bit and kind of, uh, yeah, I'm going to let it sit for a little bit. Like this, I don't even know what they put it on with, honestly, but it's not moving at all. So yeah, I'm going to let uh, the paint settle a little bit. Oh, damn, I'm sick. So I was driving outside my house when I was filming here. And I ran over some new line paint and I got a little bit on the car. I didn't want, uh, I was trying, I went slow and everything. As soon as I noticed what they were doing and what was going on, that they were actually fresh painting stuff, I went slow as shit because I didn't want to like run it over and spread it everywhere. But we're, we should be cool. I mean, I only see it in a couple places that I'm able to get it off easy. So yeah, uh, definitely getting new headlights because these ones are trash money. Uh, again, the grill, how it's silver. I wish they would have painted that black, but I mean, it's not a big deal. I don't know if I want to paint the whole entire, I said the grill, the front bumper. I don't know if I want to paint the whole entire front bumper black or at least just this piece right here. 
but I do plan on getting some kind of like LED things for that so it's not just an open space. Uh, I plan on getting a new grill right here that's black that doesn't have these things in the middle, it's basically just like a black mesh thing, so that should look pretty good. Uh, I plan on getting tow mirrors because I don't really like how this the, the style for this, even though these are automatic, not so automatic, like uh electric mirrors like they power power mirrors whatever they work from the inside or whatever all the controls work i just don't really like how they look the style of them so i'm going to be getting tow mirrors for that here's some more to paint i ran over uh yeah honestly this is how it's looking though all freshly painted sun hitting it just right don't look like a mirror now it's it's different because I got it. It's supposed to be destroyed gray, but like it looks different. Like it doesn't. I don't know. Cause honestly, I see destroyed gray here and there. Like it's not like I have a car that's already destroyed gray that I can compare it to. But I don't know. It looks. It's like destroyed gray, but it's like a little bit different. Like it has like a little bit different vibe to it. I don't like it. So this is how the truck is looking. So that uh, this is my. Mako paint job. This is the third car I got painted at Mako. Got the Infinity painted, uh, the custom blue. Got the Impala painted, the flat black. And now got the truck painted, Destroyer Gray. This one was more expensive, obviously because it is a truck. Uh, I believe my Infinity was around $550 for everything. The Impala was about, I wanna say around $600 for everything. And the truck was about $800. 30 or so dollars for everything now one thing that's like i thought would turn out a little better is like there are some of the rust spots but i can't really be mad because this dome was literally like rusted off like there, there's literally holes but my plan with this is i plan on getting like a, a side i don't even know honestly i don't even know what it's called you might go act like i know what it's called it's my first truck it's like the side drones that you step on. Yeah, I plan on getting those, so you're not really gonna be able to see those. And I plan on getting uh, the rocker panels anyway. But I mean, I kind of have a, I have an idea. I have an idea. Just, just trust the process. Just trust the process. This is just the first step. So, uh, yeah, basically, history of my truck. Bought it about two months ago. Did all, basically, all brand new uh, steering components uh, up front. I believe it has a four inch lift on it. At least in the front it does, in the rear, I don't think it has one. Uh, it has 15 inch rims with a 12 by, I said 12, 20, I mean 33 by 12.5 by 15 uh, tires on them. All the way around, obviously. And it, ah, this symbol just makes me mad because it's usually located right here. Like, that's where it's supposed to go. They just threw it on the side of the door. I don't really like it. I don't really like this symbol at all. But, like, I can't pull it off right now. So, that sucks. So, yeah, I don't really like this one either. I mean, this one isn't bad. But, yeah, probably just need some heat on it. And then the adhesive will probably loosen up. So that's probably what's gonna end up happening with those. But yeah, uh, that's basically the history of the truck. I've uh, got the brand, uh, like the suspension, not the suspension, the uh, steering components, basically all brand new up front. I uh, replaced all those. Wanted to make sure I got all mechanical stuff figured out first before I start to get like aesthetics and like the looks and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, did that. Just took it in for paint. Uh, took it in for paint last Monday. And it is the following Thursday. Now, originally when I took it in for paint, uh, he told me it was going to be done last week around Thursday, Friday, the latest, but uh, it wasn't. So basically what happened was uh, like kind of was like being around the bushes a little bit saying, oh, yeah, it'll be done this day. Oh, now it'll be done this day, this day. Oh, no, because it was always today when I called. But I mean, regardless, I know it's a big truck or whatever, but I'm. It's cool, it's whatever. So, yeah, it took about, since I'm not open on weekends, took five days last week, because I dropped it off literally Monday morning as soon as they opened. Uh, five days last week, and it was done 10 a.m. today and it's Thursday, so I would say about eight days. Uh, but that's honestly a lot different than my experience with them, because for my Infinity, 
when I dropped that off, that was, I dropped that off on a Sunday night. It was done, I believe, on a Wednesday, the Wednesday, the, that same week on a Wednesday. And for the Impala, I dropped it off, I believe, on the Sunday night, and it was done that same week on a Thursday. So, this is the only truck, well, the only car I ever took to them that took a while. But yeah, this house looking right now. Destroyer Gray. And the reason why I picked Destroyer Gray, because my original plan uh, was between this and uh, blacking out the truck. But the reason why I decided to go with Destroyer Gray is because you already see a lot of Rams like this, second gen Rams that uh, that are already all black or whatever. You can get that, you probably could have got that for factory. Obviously you could, uh, all black. But Destroyer Gray, you don't, that wasn't a color option back then. And you don't see second gen Rams that are Destroyer Gray ever, like ever anywhere. So that's one of the main reasons why I got it to uh, be different and yeah, I'm actually loving how the, the truck is looking. All right, relax. So continuing the YouTube video, Keith out here taking some photos of Zay said truck. So this is just another angle of how it's looking. Let me zoom in, let me zoom in, let me zoom in. That looks so dumb, the Ram 1500 on the side. And I don't know how they glued it on there, but like I can't use a heat gun yet to get it off until the paint cures more. Cause you know how like you get a car, you can like debadge it and like that doesn't mess up the paint, just need some goo going. But having a uh, paint that was just freshly like put on the car, like I can't take it off cause it might mess up the paint. So instead of risking that, I'll just let it look stupid for a little bit and then I'll take it off. But yeah, I feel like with that off, the truck will look even a lot nicer. Cause that just like throws it off on the side. Thank you.